Antarctica is considered to be no man's land. Antarctica has no government, although various countries claim sovereignty in various regions. The 14 million km square area of Antarctica has been divided into seven parts. This is the region under Argentina. This is the region under Australia. The region under Chile. The region under France. This area of Antarctica is the region under New Zealand. The region under Norway and the region under the United Kingdom. It was the ancient Greeks who first came up with the idea of Antarctica. They knew about Arctos, meaning the bear, from the constellation the Great Bear. They decided that in order to balance the world, there has to be a cool southern landmass that was same but opposite. In 1773, James Cook crossed the Antarctic Circle and circumnavigated Antarctica. Though he didn't see land, but deposits of rocks seen on icebergs showed that such a southern continent exists. In 1911, a Norwegian explorer, Ronald Amundsen, finally made it to Antarctica and the South Pole. Geography Antarctica, the southernmost continent, is surrounded by Southern, Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans. Its approximately 14 million km square area makes it 1.3 times as large as Europe and 1.4 times bigger than the USA. Its coastline measures approximately 18,000 km. About 98% of Antarctica is covered with at least 1.6 km thick ice sheet. It has about 90% of the world's ice and about 70% of world's fresh water. If all the ice at Antarctica were melted, sea levels would rise by a mammoth 200 feet. The temperature. Antarctica is the coldest place on earth. The lowest temperature minus 60 degrees Celsius in the winters. Wind. Antarctica is the windiest place on earth. Storms are frequent and always very energetic. Precipitation. The precipitation in Antarctica is in the form of snow. Strong winds make the measurement of snow difficult. The population. No permanent residents. About 18 countries have 44 research bases in Antarctica. And this is Maitri, the Indian research station at Antarctica. Flora and Fauna 
A combination of freezing temperatures, poor soil quality, lack of moisture and lack of sunlight makes it impossible for extensive vegetation in Antarctica. The plant life is only limited to moses and liverwurst. Growth of plant occurs only in summers, only for few weeks. About 700 species of algae, 200 species of lichens, 50 species of bryophytes exist in Antarctica. A variety of marine animals exist in Antarctica. All of them rely directly or indirectly on phytoplankton. Antarctica sea life includes penguins, blue whales, orcas, colossal squids and fur seals. Antarctic krill, which are shrimp-like invertebrates, is the keystone species of ecosystem of the Southern Ocean. This species of krill is an important food organism for the whales, seals, squids, penguins and albatrosses. Antarctica also has a distinct variety of birds. There are a total of 43 species of birds in Antarctica. These birds have thick layer of insulating fat under their feathers and all over their bodies. They say the only permanent thing in the universe is change. Accordingly, Earth is also going through many changes. Then how can Antarctica, with one tenth of world's land, be out of the scenario of change? Global Warming Global warming is the warming up of the planet above the temperature it should be. Global warming is such a concern at the moment because the world temperature is increasing at a faster rate than ever before. Global average temperature has risen by 0.74 degrees Celsius over 100 years. This sounds like a small change and is easily misinterpreted. Impacts of Global Warming The Antarctic Peninsula is warming at a rate 10 times faster than the global average. The average annual temperature of this region has gone up by 3 degrees Celsius. Ozone Layer Depletion Ozone depletion is the main cause of global warming. The ozone hole is the loss of ozone in the stratosphere which reduces the ability of the atmosphere to shield the harmful UV rays from the sun. First ozone hole in the middle layer of Earth's atmosphere was observed in Antarctica. In September 2006, NASA satellites showed that the Antarctic ozone hole was the largest on record. This shows the Antarctic ozone hole. Atmospheric CO2 increase There is a 35% increase in the amount of atmospheric carbon dioxide in between 1832 and 2007. The Industrial Revolution has caused a dramatic rise in CO2. This graph shows the rise in CO2 over the years. Ice mass and global sea level Due to global warming, Antarctica is experiencing a net outflow of glacial ice which will increase the global sea level over the time. An ice shelf by the name of Lauren B. Ice Shelf was about 220 meters thick in the early days of 2002. 
In just a matter of 16 days, it lost about 3,250 km square of ice into the ocean. 87% of glaciers along the west coast of Antarctica have retreated in the last 50 years, with most of them showing accelerated retreat in the last 12 years. This graph shows the decrease in the Antarctic ice mass over the years. And hence we can observe the rise in the global sea levels. What can be the future? The worst potential effects of global warming will be melting of ice caps causing rise in global sea levels and flood in many low-lying areas. Most extreme weathers will become more common, storms will become more destructive, floods will become more fierce, short droughts will become longer. Global warming is basically being caused by greenhouse gases and mostly carbon dioxide. These gases form an insulating blanket around the earth and trap the harmful rays from the sun. One good way of prevention is to use alternate energy sources instead of burning fossil fuels. Burning of fuels implies the emission of CO2. Limit the use of appliances or materials which produce CFC to reduce global warming. Use of fluorescent tubes and bulbs, CFLs, helps reducing the usage of energy. They use a fraction of energy as compared to normal bulbs. In order to deal with the problem, an area of forest equivalent to 50 million hectares has to be planted per year.